Ah. Oh, hello, all right. I'm Joey Page. How you doing? Take it all in. I'm a visual feast. Now, I know I've come dressed today as some kind of tea Fordwich indie swag bag, giving off the air of a fine young gentleman who likes to peruse the streets of Camden Town, punting Chav's Bulldogs with my ruby red loafers, whilst fishing an old teapot out of a dustbin to drink gin out of, ironically, at skin stole parties, whilst chatting to girls that like Anne Boleyn with their head tucked under their arms. But I am not that man. I am completely the opposite. I am the son of an electrician who was the son of a carpenter, who was the son of a plumber, who was the son of a maverick. By the age of 10, I was running around like a Super Mario, fixing things, fixing toilets, fixing light bulbs into toilet seats to make them light up. I used to build climbing frames that have any old bits of scrap metal I used to find lying around. I was practically a genius. I was a practical genius. I was a Joe of all trades. That's a joke. I then turned my hand to game hunting, shooting down magpies from the sky to injure them so I could gain their trust and nurse them back to health until I had a squadron of feathered friends who would fly me about the town in their beaks and claws like some kind of black jet. Okay, that bit's not true, but you get the idea. I generally like to fix things and hang around in my umbro shorts from year eight PE. I've come to readdress the balance today of society, a society that doesn't know how to change a light bulb, but it can sky plus an episode of Glee from its iPhone. How many members of the cast of Glee does it take to change a light bulb? I'll tell you. All of them. One to change the light bulb and eight to be eaten by a pack of angry bears that I've hidden in a darkened room. What can I do for you today? My hair dry is broken. Well, your hair looks suspiciously dry to me. Have you tried plugging it in? Of course I have. All right. Let's have a look at it. Now, before we get started, we're going to need to kit you out in some PPE, personal protection equipment. Nice and visible. Pop that on. Then you're going to need some of these goggles. Nice little hat for you. I better stick one of them on as well to protect the gold that's going on in there. And you're going to need some gloves for your little mitts. Now, the most common thing to go in a hairdryer is the fuse. So I'm just going to have a little look. Another common problem with hair dryers is that they tend to overheat because they're doing a lot of work trying to dry all that hair. Um, and it's a little bit like a man with a bad heart trying to just blow your hair dry. It's quite hard to do. Like, just imagine it. If, like, an old man was trying to blow your hair, you should be like... <laughs> so you get pretty knackered, and sometimes I need to have a rest, have a cup of tea, yeah? Just give it five minutes, let it chill out, have another go, yeah? Uh, in this case, it is the fuse, so all I'm going to do is whip that out and replace it. Thankfully, fuses are quite cheap. You can get them in a lot of places. You can get them in all sorts of shops, like Home Base, Focus, B and Q. Okay, and action. These ceramic floor tiles are now half These price. These ceramic floor tiles are now half price. Cut, Terry. Why are you repeating Billy's line? It's not Billy's line. It's my line. He stole it off me. I'm Terry Tiles. What do you mean? Well, I work in tiles. I'm Terry Tiles. It says so on my name badge. You mean you're Terry from Tiles? You work in the Tiles department. Tiles isn't your surname. Yeah, I'm Terry Tiles. Yeah, you said that. Look, what's your mum's name? Barbara. Barbara what? Mum. Look, my name isn't Billy Bathrooms, is it? Yeah, it says so on your name badge. You're Billy Bathrooms, I'm Terry Tiles. Right, when you go to the pub and they ask you for ID, what do you show them, your name badge? Yeah, I say, I'm Terry Tiles, it says so on my name badge, one lemonade, please. Excuse me? Are you uh, Terry Tiles? I'm Terry Tiles. I think I found your wallet on the floor on the high street outside Tesco. Tesco. Uh, Tesco. And um, they're very cheap and easy to come by. So I'm just going to put the, the hood back on the plug and then I will plug it in and see if that was indeed the problem. Let's give this a little test. Works fine. There you go. You're welcome. I'll see you later. Now, as a kid, I was amazed and bemused by everything, like the wonderment of escalators to collecting Premier League sticker books to going to bring and buy sales and buying up all the things that I could with 25 pence. I'd love to go back and do those things now that I'm an adult. Like, imagine going to a bring and buy sale with like 200 pounds and just buying up all the stock and then laying it back out and then letting the children come in and try and buy it, only to find out that I've marked the price up by like 400%. They can't afford anything. They'd all burst into tears, and I'd just sit there smoking my pipe with my Cuban heels up 
on the table and sunglasses like some kind of evil oil baron or like completing the sticker book that I wanted to complete as a child, just going into the news agents and doing it in record time, just buying 200 packs of stickers and just banging them all in and then using the excess shinies to make a silvery sparkly nest that I could use to entrap that elusive magpie. These are the things I wanted as a child and none more so than to have my own tree house. So I could look down on all the kids like some kind of evil leafy monarch laughing at them. Now as an adult I have the time and money to do so and I will unveil my blueprint to the Super Mega Layer 3000. Drawn up a diagram, it's got quite a lot of lovely components to it. But today I'm going to be focusing on the frame of the treehouse which is going to be 2 metres by 2 metres. Can you fetch me some wood? Thank you. Now I've measured this out at two metres and I'm just going to put a clear cut straight down the middle of it with a saw. Can you fetch me my saw? I've always wanted to say that. Thank you very much. Right, now I've cut the wood to the required length. I need to join it to the rest of the frame. Uh, there's a number of different joints that you can use to do this, uh, one of which is called the finger joint, called so because it looks like a man with really small, stubby little fingers. In fact, it reminds me of um, Short Arms Terry, who uh, he knocked Heart Attack Pat off the ladder outside the fishmongers. You know him? Short Arms Terry knocked Heart Attack Pat off the ladder outside the fishmongers. He's got those, uh, those glasses that change colour when he goes outside, make him look a little bit like a paedophile. Do you remember him? Short arms Terry, not heart attack Pat, off the ladder outside the fish one has got them glasses that change colour when he goes outside, make him look a little bit like a paedophile. He, uh, he drives a Renault Espace, which does not. Do you remember him? You know, short arms Terry, not heart attack Pat, off the ladder outside the fish one has got them glasses that change colour when he goes outside, make him look a little bit like a paedophile, drives a Renault Espace. You know that little pocket on your jeans? Yeah, that nobody knows what it's for. Heaps a little picture of Bruce Forsyth in there, nobody knows why. Do you remember him? Short arms Terry knocked heart attack Pat off the ladder outside the fishmongers. He's got them glasses that change colour when he goes outside and make him look a little bit like a paedophile, drives around a splash. You know that little pocket on your jeans keeps a little picture of Bruce Forsyth in there, nobody knows why. He got made redundant for having really short fingers. He was a waiter, kept dropping everything, it was a nightmare. Doesn't matter, can I have the butt joint? Tap. So this is your butt joint. Uh, it's a very simple joint to make. Uh, all I've got is two planks of wood and I've drilled a couple of guide holes in it and then put in two coach bolts. And then just to sturdy it up, I have put a right angle bracket on the inside of it. Uh, do that four times and you've got your frame. That's pretty much all that we've got time for uh, on the treehouse this week. Until then, I need you to fetch me my portcullis.